before this video starts, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Motiverse. Motiverse is a high performance computer network that rewards users who share their processing power of their electronic devices. They want to test how powerful the network can be and are doing so over a contest where you guys can win Amazon gift cards of up to $100. All you have to do is go to the link at the top of the description, click on their floating tool, log in and start processing. Your computer will do all the work for you. It will solve literal mathematical tasks in the background and yeah, you can start earning. And also a little limited time bonus for you guys. Users who process the most between the 20th of January and the 11th of February will basically have a higher chance of winning. So yeah, what are you waiting for? Link in the top of the description. Get earning. Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Fetch here, back with another daily upload, day number 129. Um, I've literally completely lost count. Promise you in my next video, I'll uh, know what video I'm on, but I'm pretty sure we're on 129 days, I think. Bro, we've been grinding way too hard, I've literally lost count. But in today's video, we actually have something that I think you guys are really gonna enjoy. Like, you guys like this whole FPS boost, performance, changing the game stuff, and yeah, that's what I've got for you today. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually make performance mode look better because you know performance mode that gets whole purpose is to make your game look obviously worse you either get mobile builds or you get like these bubble wrap looking horrible builds and it doesn't look good so I'm gonna be showing you a method in this video to still get performance increase and also make your builds literally look normal yes you heard that right it will look literally normal now of course we are gonna hop straight into things but before we do so the least I ask from you guys if you enjoy this video anyway shape or form I go ahead to help you guys all I ask is that you drop a like for me subscribe to the channel post notifications on all of that good stuff it goes with was saying but it would really mean the world to me but we're super close to 100k subscribers right now so you'd help me hit that milestone which you know it's a dream of mine and it also takes two seconds it's completely free to subscribe and you can unsubscribe later down the line just give me that chance okay so of course we are going to get straight into this but i just wanted to show you what i mean so right now i have bubble wrap builds some of you guys will have um like mobile builds so your builds will look completely like mobile and it just won't be pleasant to play with for me i literally do have uh these builds right here which I do really enjoy it. I mean, they're not that bad. You can get used to them, but they're still not the best. And of course, they look worse than like normal Fortnite, but you're going to use it anyway because you want that performance boost. You want the FPS increase and you just want to be able to run Fortnite, right? That's the whole point people use performance mode because they usually have low end PCs. Now, the method I'm going to show in this video, it literally is super simple. Like it's so easy. And before we hop into it, I just want to give credit to, I think, Fallacy or Kobe. I don't know what name I should address him by, but I want to actually credit him. I guess he he found this i'm pretty sure someone else actually found this and he just pushed out on his twitter page but because of him i seen this method so yeah i guess shout out to him for basically just letting me make this video but now hopping straight into this here i'm over on my desktop all you guys want to do to basically get the better builds what you want to do is go down to your um little search bar here on your windows you want to type in run go on this little application here it should bring up a box like this you want to type in percent local app data percent press ok then once you're here you want to go to fortnite game saved config Windows client and you should now see game user settings you want to right click this go to properties and ensure that read only in the attribute section here on the general tab make sure that's unticked press apply press ok and now you can open up your game user settings here now it's fairly simple first of all you just need to make sure you're on performance mode so where it says user rendering API it should be fairly close to the top if you can't find it you can um, go to edit here and then go to find and then you can basically just type in like or just actually put rendering and press down on the direction press find next Next. and um actually wait i need to go up there we go it's going to find it and you can probably just filter it quicker here and find it faster but you don't have to do that it's going to be right at the top it's either going to be called user rendering api or it'll just be called rendering api it could be different for some of you guys but just make sure this is set to the number two so literally the value here is number two it could say one for you could say three could say zero just type in two and that'll just ensure and set your game config to performance mode now what you have to do is go all the way to the bottom it should be at the bottom could be different for different people um but all you want to do is is find this little section here where it says D3DRHI preference. Don't know what that really means, but first of all, make sure this top one, um, use D3D12 in game is set to true, use GPU crash debugging set to false. And the most important thing here, which will actually make these changes, is prefer feature level ES31. You want to change this value, as you can see, mine says true. You want to change it to false. That's it, just change it to false. Let's you write in F A L S E, and then you just want to press file, save. You can cancel out of this. Now you want to go back to your properties, go 
here, go down to general tab, attributes, press read only again, press apply, this will just ensure that your game doesn't force any changes, press ok, now you want to go into your Epic Games launcher, find your Fortnite, click on the little free dot and go to options, just ensure that Fortnite save the world is unticked, ensure that high resolution textures is unticked and only this top one, Fortnite core and battery hour is ticked, so these two need to be unticked, this needs to be ticked, press apply and then just run your Fortnite. And now once your Fortnite loads, just go to settings on your video settings, go down to graphics, actually no, advanced graphics and just ensure that your rendering mode does in fact say performance mode, so it's, yeah it just needs to be set to performance mode, so it just needs to say performance alpha here, just ensure that is the case, like that means you have done everything right and it is, as you can see, on performance mode. And guys, it is as simple as that, I'm in my creative world right now, as you can see, when I build, I don't have mobile builds, I don't have the weird bubble wrap builds either, I just have normal builds almost, you will notice, there's a slight difference to the quality on these builds, like they're not exactly normal builds, but they're most definitely not bubble wrap builds and also most definitely not mobile builds, they have a lot more texture to them and for the most part they do just generally look like normal builds, there is like a slight difference you will in fact notice, but it isn't predominant at all, and also you will now get like, you'll get the performance benefits that you'd usually get with performance mode, but you just have basically better looking builds which is a win win. Results for some may actually vary because I have heard that in some cases people are saying that they don't feel like they're getting an FPS boost with this, but I really do feel like I am, right? Like it doesn't feel like DX11, doesn't feel like DX12, but I've got, you know, of course, DX11 or DX12 builds. My texture quality does look fairly decent, it's playable, and it isn't bad, like it isn't bad anymore. I've got actual builds, and I do feel as if my FPS is still like increased, like it isn't bad whatsoever. And of course, as performance mode, like people seem to think all it does is actually like just makes the builds bad and that increases your FPS. It doesn't just do that at all. Like a ton of other features in the game, textures and stuff are actually affected and it obviously does help to boost your FPS. I'm very certain that your sound quality differs as well with performance mode. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it does. And in this case, like your sound still won't be as good as it would be on maybe DX11, DX12. And also I do know performance mode does do things such as like disable save the world. So even if you do do it manually in your Epic Games launcher, like by default with actually performance mode turned on, it doesn't load up save the world. It won't load up anything else but battle royale. So when you launch your game, it isn't actually rendering any of that in a sense. Like it isn't processing that. It isn't making your GPU, your CPU having to work any harder to run the game which is of course a win-win and yeah I've already said it a thousand times but for me at least yeah like this is great like I'm getting good FPS and the only thing that's changed is my builds they look good but yeah guys I think that um wraps this video up I think it concludes it just please try this out for me let me know what you think let me know if you do see like still see to get them performance benefits because I know it, for me it works at least like I've heard that many pro players are actually hopping onto this comp players are using this I've been using it like without even knowing like I've literally been using this for I think two weeks now because I loaded up my game and for some reason I was using performance mode and my builds look normal. I didn't clock onto the reason why I went through my whole game using settings and I just couldn't catch on to it but obviously Fallacy made this tweet and then it kind of made me realize like damn like this has been a thing. I've been using it and I haven't even realized. Now people are obviously finding out. I may as well make a video, push it out to you guys and help you out because why not? But yeah if this video did help in any way shape or form make sure to drop a like for me, subscribe or like good stuff. I hope everyone has an amazing day. It's been Fetch and yeah peace.